going back to the idea of goals and pressure and stuff, how much pressure do we put, want to put on ourselves to bring in all this other stuff of like a simple life? And this is really interesting because I know that you've gone through this year, Sia, and, and, and so have I, but like you begin to like build stuff that are completely meaningless and you're giving so much weight and energy into stuff that means nothing. So when you were decluttering and literally mm. going back to some level of essentialism in your life, and I've kind of done it in different areas, like you begin over time to just build on stuff on top of this level of simplicity of life, yeah. which is like, I just be, right? Then we're fucking gonna, yeah. because once you, we're when, gonna hoard stuff, we're gonna like buy stuff, exactly. we're gonna, do you know what because I mean? Because once you go through that decluttering phase or non-attachment phase, as I've, I've been referring to it as, it's like you, once you do that and you remove the stuff that is not that important and stuff that can easily, I, I mean like physical stuff as well as emotional stuff, yeah as well as spiritual stuff, as well as, um, you know, anything in that space. Once you remove those things that are not essential, you find more room for the things that are essential. Absolutely. Mm. See what I mean? And there, there's so much, like, I cannot stress the beauty and the importance in that. And I feel like one of my biggest lessons this year has been and it's also, I'd also say it's a regret at the same time, actually, is allowing myself to be um, my emotions and my feelings dictated to by external factors. So this is like, I'm going back to like June when my back totally went out and I didn't know what was going on with work and like all these external things I allowed affected, allowed to affect me that put me in a really bad mental place probably like the worst place I've been in for like five or six years. And just being in that place was scary enough because I'd, I, I, I'd allowed myself to get into it through the external things being the, the dictating factors rather than looking inside of myself and being like, actually, cool, all right, oh, my back hurts a little bit. And, you know, I can't, I, ha I wasn't able to stand up for like two days and I couldn't go to the gym. I could only, the, the only exercise I could do was walking. It's like, that's going to get better. So like right now, okay, cool, yeah, feel that. But inevitably it's going to get better. But I didn't, I allowed myself to sink deeper into it. And I feel like, for me, that's a regret because I, I regret allowing myself to do that. But I've learned off the back of it, once you strip out, and I almost went through the non-attachment process after that, once you strip out all of the stuff that isn't essential, is you shouldn't be attached to, you then allow more room for the love and the good stuff to, to, to come in. Yeah. So I mean? Yeah, and you find beauty in other areas, right? That you realise, you know, and you begin to go, oh, fuck, actually, like, there's a real beauty in this, right? So, like, trees. Yes, flowers. Trees. Oh, is that your thing? Yeah. yeah, really? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, trees are boss. Any particular tree? Just, no, not really, no. <laughs> just, <laughs> not attracted to them. Just nature. Just nature. Na probably just nature. Yeah. Like, I love going back home to my mum's and going into her garden and just sort of walking around, walking yeah. around in her garden, just for, like half an hour or something, kick a ball around, something like that. But it's just like, it's one of the, one of the things, like, you look at, like, just appreciating what's around, you know, isn't it? like, looking for beauty in things that you might not otherwise do. Mm, yeah. Yeah. And have you got any regrets from this year? No, don't regret anything. You can't, you can't, I don't, I, I, I don't think, you can, if you regret things, then it's something which is holding you back. Mm. You've got to, um, like, I reckon I've made some difficult decisions, but, like, you've made them in the moment. Yeah. And there's something which has led you to make that decision. And if you're not always going to get everything right, but, like, you can't necessarily regret it because something has built you, something has led you to that point to make the decision. You know what I mean? So you've almost yeah. just got to be strong-willed enough to just accept it. Yeah. So it's rather than regret, it's just acceptance, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Just gotta like that that is what it is, like move on. Yeah. Build, like go as you said, go from what you've learned. Because that that's it. Like you regretted it, doing something but what you learnt off the back of it. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So I'll, you can't really regret exactly. it then, can you? Because look at what you've learned, you that wouldn't have happened yeah. if you didn't but go through it. I also find that like I, and I, I use the word regret in a sense of like when I was in like now looking back I don't regret it, but like when I was in the moment I was regretting allowing myself to feel that but all I was doing again goes back to that thing of pressure the more I regretted it 
the more I was like making myself regret it. Do you see what I mean? Yeah. I was like building, I was putting the pressure on itself rather than just letting it be what it was. Yeah. I just think the word regret is such a shit word, man. Mm. Like it connect, like it just kind of takes such negativity. Like yeah. for me, I just think, what can I build on? Like build is a stronger word than, yeah. and a more positive word. Mm. Like, so I align very much with all the stuff that Joe was saying, and I think it's very similar in terms of where we both come through. But for me, it's like less about it. Let's actually, like, let's not think about the stuff that we wish we didn't do and we think about the negatives that it gave us. But for me, it's a case of going, what are the things that I can improve on? Yeah. Do better at? And I think that's what it is. And actually just understand that for every action, there's a reaction. And sometimes those actions can create negative reactions. And some of those negative actions can create positive reactions, yeah. right? So for example for any freelancer out there like you taking a freelance gig the negative reaction is the other person didn't fucking get it mm. so like there's always a negative to shit mm. so let's just effect. not yeah, yeah so let's not focus too much on regrets but for me just think about the stuff that we can build on so for me it's a case of going look like it's a lot of stuff I can build on and I'm really content with that but the number one thing that I just want to build upon is this current state and feeling that I have right now, which mm. is I don't want to be all that attached to like goals per se. I want goals that are really easy and simple to get so that therefore if I maximize it, I'm super happy, super content. And just how can I dial up the stuff that I already have that I know is really working for me? It's just, and, and that's it. Like, that's it. 